just a overall channel update going over here. So I recently got into these little micro builds and I bought a Hoverbot nano frame and it comes with these little Delrin pieces that when you get them to work together it basically forms a cage and the quad looks like this but to my own credit I'm pretty sure I put together a build that's a little too powerful for proximity flying and even flying outdoors with this bar it gives us a little trippy line across the FPV which is just not really desirable in flying. I mean indoors it's okay um, but then again it's very hard to control indoors so um, I don't quite have everything I need just yet. I have a 10 amp 4-in-1 2S capable ES, 2 to 3S capable ESC coming in but um, right now I'm going with these 1104 7500 kV motors that I just found on Amazon for I think 30 bucks for a set of four so it's a pretty good deal. Um, I was initially going to use these, uh, if I can get it to focus, I was going to use these 6 amp bullet ESCs but I don't know if you can see here but there is a There's a transistor missing. Anyhow, I had a set of four of these, and right now they're all bricked except for one, and we all know that it's more trouble than it's worth, so into the bin with those. So, um, these motors were actually pretty good bargain. I mean, they came with some decent looking 1935 props, a little bit flexible for my taste, um, but I didn't have to pay for them, or didn't have to pay extra for them, so that's okay. Um, the only other option I was considering for motors was these Emax 5250 KV 1104s, which, I mean, they're okay, but they have a tendency to have a little problem down by these stators over here. Um, they're, sometimes the uh, stator goes unglued and your motor's bricked, or um, I had two or three C's up on me, and I'm not really a fan of them. Um, so the flight controller I think I'm going to be using is the Emacs Femto. Uh, it's cheap. It's PDB included. Um, I kind of like it because it's just, it's simple to work on. Uh, it's all the corners. So this is four, three, two, and one. And then for all you, uh, for you Spectrum users, I'm pretty sure 3.3 .3 volts is going to be, hold on, give me a second. Pretty sure 3.3 .3 volts is right here. No, um, it's here. So I don't know. So you got five volts ground, five volts ground, a UART over here, uh, boot pads, motors four, three, two, one. Uh, let's see on the underside if there's anything. There is. Uh, that's your buzzer plus or minus pins right here. You can see that. That is buzzer plus or minus. Um, power pads on the bottom again if you wanted to resolder to the bottom. But um, I mean, the F, I think it's an F3 board. Um, not ideal. I would have liked to go with a Pico VLX or maybe even one of the uh, race flight or flight one or whatever it's called now. Um, 20 by 20 stacks. Um, like I said, this takes 20 by 20. Um, so I think I'll be putting out a full build video on Tuesday or Wednesday, depending on when it gets in. Um, I don't know if I have it on hand, but the receiver I'm going to be using is the uh, FreeSky XM Plus. Um, it's kind of mauled. It, one of the antennas is off. Um, I don't know if I have it on me, but uh, one of my antennas has fallen off. Um, but it should do fine for proximity. Um, in terms of other things, I have this uh, unbranded 4-in-1 ESC um, and some weird little motors. And some weird 2205 motors. Um, I think I'm going to try and do, obviously, this 3D printed frame. Um, I want to see if I can make something of a build out of these. So that will be coming up in the near future. It will be an interesting build to look at. 
So keep your eyes out for that one. Um, other than that, what am I looking at? Um, Got to get some new motors and a new camera for my tiny whoop. Uh, long story short, it went full speed into a tree. So that's sad occurrence. Let's have a moment of silence for that friend. Um, other than that, uh, nice little purchase, the race day quad smoke stopper. So it has saved two quads so far. So $6, $3 shipping. It's totally worth it. Buy it. Um, don't fry your quad because you weren't willing to spend $6. Word to the wise. Um, other than that, I think that's it in terms of what's coming up. Um, uh, anything else? Um, besides that, um, yeah, so look for, um, look for the new Hoverbot Nano build, um, it should be up in a couple of days once the ESC gets here, um, I'll do a full build in terms of, you know, everything from, you know, how to extend these motor wires over here, which I'm sure most of you know how to do to, um, you know, installing your camera VTX resource remapping, whatever it is on Betaflight. Um, so look forward to that. Uh, I will see you guys soon.